your red will see he's not the only technological whiz around these parts. Purple? Ah! What are you doing in Red's lab? Uh-oh. Everyone, we gotta get out of here! Where's everyone else? I... I don't know. What are we gonna do? That was our home! Those were our friends! We're our friends! I don't think anyone could have made it out if they were alive! It's all my fault. Purple, it's just you and me now. What? No! This might be the end of the rainbow, friends. Get a load of these guys. Look at those costumes! Where'd you get them? The, uh, uh, the lame costume store? I don't know. They look pretty expensive. You thinking what I'm thinking? No! You better stop or you're- No! Go to pay for that! No! Purple! Ah, three against two isn't fair! Come on, guys! I got a feeling this will be worth a pretty penny. Thank you very much. Hey! Now, uh, what seems to be the problem? Those kids beat us up and stole my crown! It was three of them, they went that way! And, uh, what exactly are those costumes? They're not costumes! This is who we are! Right. <laughs> Stay in school, kids. We better find somewhere to sleep for the night. What kind of hotel would take us in? Not like we even have the money. Ugh. I don't know if I can trust you around fire anymore. It's too cold for jokes. Ooh, that's better. Where was that when we needed it earlier? <sighs> what do we do now? I don't know. Get jobs or something? I can't work. I have no skills other than stalking and evisceration. I could be a mover, maybe a trash man. I'm not sure. All I know is we're on our own now. Day two without the Rainbow Friends Play Place. Things are harder than I ever imagined. <sighs> Brad never looks so good. Run! We don't have any money for food, or a place to stay, so our only option is to try and find work. It's a tough world out there for two rainbow friends. Nobody would talk to us, or even look at us. And if they did look at us, they ran off screaming. Our comfortable days of chasing humans through the play place and being subjected to Red's experiments are over. Sometimes you never realize how good you have it until it's all gone. At least I still have purple. Well, I just realized I haven't eaten all day. Me neither. You know, worst case scenario... Blue's got a lot of meat on him, right? That could keep me going for a few days, that's for sure. What am I doing? Purple's my friend. Unless... He's thinking the same thing. Well, oh, goodnight. No. I have an idea. Hey, little fella. It's so cold and rainy out, but it's nice and warm in this box. Why don't you come on in and... <laughs> Get it on me! Boy, am I glad it attacked you, because now I won't feel as bad eating it. <gasps> Is that my little cupcake? No, it's a dog. Cupcake! Come here, boy! Little Cupcake's been missing for days! 
Oh, you boys are just the best. You could have saved her life. Well, all in the day's work, ma'am. Here. Yeah. As a reward, though my cupcake is priceless. Did that really just happen? Strange looking fellows. A hundred dollars? That's way better than dog meat. No need to thank me. You? It was my idea. But I caught the dog and gave it to the old lady. You're the reason we're in this mess. Fine, we can share it. Just... Ah! Oh. Orange? Orange, what's wrong with you? Hey, that's my trash. You can't have it. Orange, it's us. We thought you were dead. I thought you were dead. If you escaped, maybe Red and Green did too. We have to find them before something bad happens to them. Green, is that you? Guys, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, it's so good to see you. Where's Red? We're not sure yet, but we're looking for him next. When all of us band together, we can definitely rebuild the play place. I'm not going back there. I had my fun with the Rainbow Friends play place, but I think it's time to move on to bigger and better things. This job is great. People don't scream and run. They smile and laugh. And I get paid. What? Sorry, pal. We found a new one. And we don't even have to pay this guy. So beat it. Fine. Let's find Red. Where do we even start looking? Where do smart people go? College. Where do smart people without money go? Uh, the library. I've been reading tips to fix up a house. With this knowledge, we can rebuild the play place in no time. But where would we get the materials? We lost everything in the fire. Wait, Blue, we have $100. Oh no, we left it in the alley! Green, you had a job. Did you get paid? I only worked for a day and a half, so not very much. How much? A couple hundred bucks. That money combined with the scraps of wood left over, as well as my mighty intellect and architectural talents, should be just enough. 